Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Credit. Today in this video, we'll discuss about some of the important skills that you need to have to be a business analyst. So things I will cover in this video are soft skills and technical skills. So after watching this video, you will have a very good understanding about what you need to have to be successful in a business analyst domain. So yeah, that's exactly what I'll be discussing in this video. But if you want to hear our friends subscribe to the channel, please go subscribe to the channel and be a part of Programming Credit family. And also hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live. If you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys. And you can also join us on the live stream that I do every Saturday, 12 p.m. British summer time. So yeah, if you have any queries, you can always come and ask there. And you can also join the membership of the channel if you want to have one-to-one -one meeting with me. So yeah, with that being said, uh, let's start our discussion. So the first thing that I want to talk about is right skills so as a business analyst you will be taking down a lot of requirements from your stakeholders and you will be taking down a lot of uh, analysis that your technical team has done and uh, you need to convey these messages between so basically you will act as a bridge between your stakeholders and technical team so you will be conveying a lot of information to and fro and uh, most of the time you will be doing a lot of communication via email so you will be writing quite a lot so you need to convey the information precisely but also you need to keep in mind that you are not using too much words so you need to convey the information in least possible words so that is something you need to be very good at so you need to improve your writing skills and this is something which is very important and not many people tell you about this so with that being said let's move on to the other skill which is communication skills so apart from emails you will be doing a lot of meetings and you will have to convey a lot of stuff verbally so you need to make sure that your communication skills are good and by communication skills i don't mean that the normal english that we talk and in the friend circle the way we talk it should be a business communication that i'm talking about so you need to focus on that and uh, that is something very important and again you should be very good at communication is because you need to convey a lot of information and you need to be very precise and you should not miss anything because it can impact by quite a lot so yeah again communication skill is very important now with that being said let's move on to the next skill which is requirement collection or elicitation skill so you will be collecting a lot of requirements from your stakeholders and giving it to your technical team so like i told you you are the bridge between stakeholders and technical team so whatever requirements you will collect your team will work on that and if you miss out on some of the requirements it can impact hugely on the business so that is something which is very important so you need to make sure that you are taking down all the requirements properly and it's not just about taking down requirements it's also about how you are formulating the requirements so you need to know the requirement which your stakeholders have given how you need to formulate it and how you can pass it on to your the on to your technical team so that is again a very important skill that you need to have now with that let's move on to the next skill which is problem solving skills so when i say problem solving skill it does not mean that you have to solve you need to know how to solve the problem that your stakeholders are giving you it actually means that you need to figure out what their problem actually is because i have seen this multiple time that stakeholders don't really know what they want to solve because if i have to give you an example when i was doing my internship there my client they wanted to solve a certain problem but they didn't know what they actually wanted because they gave me multiple problems that they had and they wanted me to solve everything but also my dissertation my internship was part of my dissertation so i had limited time so i had to talk to them and i had to come up with one big thing that if we solve that thing it will cover a lot of different stuff or it will solve a lot of different problems so that is what we came up with and we had to converse a lot we had to do a lot of meetings and we had to come up with one thing that is very important so after that we were able to come up with a particular problem that we actually had to solve so that is what is very important and you need to know that uh, how to convince your client and tell them that uh, this is actually the problem is and uh, we actually should solve this rather than what you are actually focus on focusing on so this is what you need to have and this is what i mean by problem solving skills now with that being said let's move on to the next skill which is technical skills so in technical skills there can be a lot of different things it could be power bi tableau excel sql python so all these tools are mainly used for visualization because when you want to convey your findings to your stakeholders 
and when you just give them a whole bunch of text in your powerpoint presentation they won't feel that to be really helpful and uh, they won't find too much information from it but when you give them visualizations and when you show them graphs and charts they actually feel more comfortable and they are able to understand things in a better way so it's a, it's always important to know these kind of tools and you can actually create a lot of good visualization out of it so it's not like you need to know python programming only you can do this using tableau power bi and things like that but it's also very important to know excel because excel is something which all the companies use and uh, if you get a data in csv format or excel format you can always open it in excel and uh, you can do quite a lot of things in excel excel is a very powerful tool you can actually create a lot of very good visualization inside excel so yeah it's very important to know at least excel power bi or tableau and sql if not python but if you are able to learn python as well it will only give you an upper hand so yeah these are some of the skills which you need to know to be successful in business analytics domain so yeah this is what i wanted to discuss in this video i hope you found this video helpful if you are into data science you can download the data science notes link is in the description and you can also join a telegram group there we have a lot of different people discussing a lot of different things and it could be very helpful for you to make good connections there and uh, yeah hope to see you in the next video bye happy learning don't forget to subscribe share like and comment